Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is drum traps. What they are, why they suck, and what you should do about it if you have one. So first off, a drum trap is a type of trap at a plumbing fixture that prevents sewer gas from entering your home. The big difference between the traditional trap that you see on most homes, a P-trap, is that a P-trap is self-scouring. It cleans out the bottom of that trap by having water rush through it really quickly and it satisfies one of the basic plumbing principles of the Minnesota State Plumbing Code which says that traps need to be self-scouring. So a drum trap is not that. A drum trap is basically a big vessel where water comes in at the top and leaves at the bottom, hopefully. Sometimes it goes backwards. Drum traps come in all different sizes and shapes and configurations. But basically water comes into this big vessel and then it leaves somewhere else. And if any solids come into this, the solids just sit at the bottom. They never leave. And it can turn drum traps into miniature cesspools. These things can get really dirty and filled with hair and So if you have a drum trap at your home, my advice would be do whatever you can to make sure that you don't have anything solid go down. Make sure the only thing that ever enters a drum trap is water. If it's uh, one of the most common places you're going to have a drum trap is on a bathtub. And my, my advice would be put one of those little hair nets over the drain cover to make sure the only thing going down is water. One of the biggest challenges people have if they do have a drum trap and they want to clean it out is that they can be difficult to open. Because they come in so many different configurations, sometimes you'll have drum traps installed where the clean out actually faces down. And in that case, it's like, you know, you, you gotta like wear a raincoat as you open up the clean out and have this nasty stuff dump out on top of you as you open it up. That's bad news but I see a ton of them. Another challenge is lead drum traps. With, with a lead trap, you start cranking on that top to get, it, to get the clean out to open, and you can actually collapse the entire trap because lead is such a soft metal. So the big thing with a drum trap is it's, it's more prone to getting clogged and it's difficult to clean out. So the bottom line is if you're buying a home that has a drum trap, make sure that you keep it clean. Don't let anything solid go down there. And if you do have to clean it out, it can turn into a bigger project. If, if, it's a, if it's a first time starter plumbing project for you, my advice would be hire a plumber or a professional drain cleaner to come in and take care of it for you at least the first time. Once you've seen them do it for you, maybe you'll feel comfortable tackling it yourself the next time, but hopefully there won't be a next time. 